The coronavirus pandemic is taking its toll across the country, and unfortunately, Native Americans are more likely to be hospitalized and die of COVID than any other ethnic groups. ABC 10's Barbara Bingley has one West Sacramento family struggle in tonight's cover story. The sad thing was is that she was saying goodbye to her husband through the glass and, um, you know, her husband passed and then she ended up staying in there and passing as well. On August 29th, Phyllis Hardin died of COVID-19, just two weeks after her husband, Steve. It was a big surprise to lose her. It really was. Nakiba Gregory works for the Washington Unified School District, where she and Phyllis were involved in the Indian education program. You know, help students retain their culture and be able to feel seen in the community. And uh, she was always a very strong um, supporter and very active in the program. Phyllis was a member of the Pomo tribe and active in the Native American community. A mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother, Nakiba recalled that whenever her family needed her, she was there for them. She was the matriarch of her family. I mean, she was the one that was the rock that held everybody together. Nakiba says Phyllis's death is tied to a larger problem. According to the CDC, American Indians and Alaska Natives have experienced disproportionate rates of infection and mortality during the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, Native Americans throughout the country have been hit harder than most other ethnic groups, just wiping out, um, you know, full families. She says by fundraising, she now hopes to fulfill Phyllis's last wish. You know, she wanted to make sure that the kids graduated. She wanted to make sure that everybody took care of Vinny and made sure that he did his baseball, that they still supported him on that, and that she didn't want to lose the house that she had worked really hard for. Her big thing is that she didn't want her family to fall apart. 